For many of us, the helium miners become the old faithful of passive income. After all, it's continued to pay out positive returns every single month, even during the bear market. That's not an easy feat. So today, we're going to give it an upgrade. We're going to take it from a single IoT earner to a massive multi-mining machine. Best of all, we're going to do it all for free. Wait a minute. Did you just say I could supercharge my helium miner for free? I got to hear more. I'm all about more power. Before we get started, the first thing I have to do is give credit to where credit is due. You see, this is all made possible thanks to the Crank Network. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you already know that I've been a part of Crank Network for almost a year, and I've already reached my ROI. I'm running in pure profits. But if you want to learn more about the Crank Network, go check out my video here I released talking about how to set up your old miner for new money. And to even give you a little boost, use the referral link I underscore Serenity to save yourself $5 on a Crank license. But like I said in the beginning, this video is all about multi-mining for free. And the great thing about Crank is they're letting everyone utilize their multi-mining software absolutely free. You do not have to buy a Crank license. You do not have stake tokens or even participate in the Crank network. They're going to let everyone use their software absolutely free. There are, however, a couple things we're going to need. The first is a small Phillips screwdriver. That's so we can open up our miner. The second, we're going to need a micro SD card reader. Now you can pick these up for about $5 on Amazon and I'll put a link in the description down below. The last component is completely optional, but something I like to do. I like to replace my micro SD cards because they will wear out over time. Secondly, if I ever decide to sell or get rid of my miner, I want to put the original micro SD card back in so the new owner has no confusions or problems with the crank software. That just makes it so I've got a backup plan in case something goes wrong. So if you've got those components, you're ready to get started. Let's get into it. Now to get started, there are two piece of software we're going to have to download. The first is the actual image we're going to flash to the micro SD card. To do that, go to the crank.io website. Go over here to where it says downloads and go down to crank image and installer. Select that. Now on the downloads page, you're going to see a lot of different images listed out here. It's really dependent on the miner you have. Now, if you do not see your miner listed, that's where we're going to use just the crank image. But if you got like a Nebra Rock PI, you want to download that one or for a certain Bobcat miner or a Bobcat miner with model number G285, G290, G295 or the Wingstop Rock chip. Now, if you don't see your specific miner here and you're not replacing your micro SD cards, I highly recommend jump in the crank discord and ask them directly. Make sure you're flashing the right image before you just download and flash your micro SD card. Because the worst thing you want to do is flash it with the wrong image and have that the only copy of your SD card available. That's when your miner would absolutely be dead in the water until you got the right image. So let's try and avoid that, shall we? Now for me, I'm running a sense cap. And since it's not specifically listed, I know I'm just going to use the crank image. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the image download right here below it. And that's going to automatically start the download, as you can see here in the top corner. And there we go. Our download is finished. We can verify that by clicking the download icon. And as you can see it right here, the crank image 2023.12.21.0.zip. That's the image we're going to need. Now, the next piece of software we've got to download is actually the flashing software. What I like to use is Blaina Etcher. Now, this is the one I find the simplest, but there are several others out there. However, this one's free to use and real quick and simple. So go to the etcher.blaina.io website. And from here, go ahead and click download Etcher. Then it's going to scroll down and ask you what operating system will you be installing Blaina Etcher onto? It's got it for Windows, for Mac OS, and for Linux. Well, I'm running a Windows machine, so I'm going to go ahead and click the download next to the Windows. And there you go. The download has begun and the download is complete. Now that we've got our software programs downloaded, let's go ahead and install Blaina Etcher to get ready to flash that micro SD card. To install it, let's go ahead and open up our file explorer, go to our downloads folder, and you see right there, Blaine Etcher. Now, I always like to run this as administrator, so I'm going to right click on that and select run as administrator. And it asks, do you want to allow this program to make changes to your system? Yes, I do. And there we go. After it finishes installing, it automatically opens up Blaine Etcher. And that's this little window here. It is a very simple, small program. This is what we're going to use to flash our micro SD card. Now, the next step in this process is dependent on did you decide to buy the pack of micro SD cards and replace your SD or are you going to use the original micro SD card that's in your miner? Now, if it's one in your miner, I can show you where it is on the sense cap and on the OG miner, 
But I can also tell you the MNTD is right behind the sticker on the side. The rack miners, I don't know because I don't own one. But let's start with the sense cap. So on your sense cap miner, you take the two screws out on the side and pop the front panel off. And then you can see the micro SD card is right there. Now, oftentimes these are held in with a little piece of tape. So don't go crazy prying these guys out without removing that tape first. Once you get the tape off, pulling the card is really very simple. Now, if you have an OG miner like this guy, once you undo the four screws in the bottom, you pop the cover off, then you're gonna find the micro SD card right here next to the fan underneath. Now that guy's kind of a pain to get out, but use a pair of tweezers and work carefully because you don't wanna damage your miner. But once you get your micro SD card out, you're ready to move on to the next step. Now, if you did decide to replace your micro SD card, make sure to take the original out and put it in a small envelope and label exactly what miner it came out of. Not only the model, but I highly recommend the serial number as well. Put that somewhere safe. That way, in case something goes wrong or you ever decide to sell that miner, you can simply slap that SD card back in it, send it back in the original condition. But for the next step, either way, you've got either your new micro SD or the one out of the miner you're going to reflash. Take that micro SD card and install that in your USB card reader. From there, plug that into your computer. So now we have our micro SD card plugged in the card reader. That's plugged into our computer and we're back here on the same screen with our Blana Etcher. Now to flash it is really simple. Go ahead and click flash from file. Now we're gonna select the image file that we downloaded from the website. So as you can see in the downloads folder, right here, image 2023.12.21. Same one right here. So go ahead and select that in its zip format. Do not worry about unzipping it. From there, select the target. Now from here, be very careful on what target you select. If you have multiple hard drives or multiple USB sticks plugged into your computer, you've got to make sure you're flashing the right one. Otherwise, very bad things can happen. Trust me, I've done it. But we know this is the generic storage. It is a 62.6 .6 gigabyte SD card and it is on the E drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that one and then click the select one button. From here, all you gotta do is click flash. Now it comes up with a pop-up box saying, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes, I do. Go ahead and click yes. And from there, the flashing has begun. Sit back and wait for it to complete. It will go through, it'll flash it, and then it will also verify. Now, once the flash is complete, it'll say right here, flash complete, ask you if you wanna flash another. No, we don't. So we can go ahead and just close that window. And from there, Unplug our micro SD card reader, pull our card, and we're ready to proceed. Now that we have our new micro SD card supercharged and ready for multi-mining, go ahead and plug that back into your helium miner. From there, go ahead and put the cover back on, reinstall the screws. Now we're gonna set our helium miner back up and get it configured for multi-mining. Okay, now that we have our miner put back together, plugged in up and running, the next thing we have to do is configure it not only for helium, but for multi-mining. To do that, we need to know the IP address of that specific miner on our network. Now you can use advanced IP scanner or you can go into your router and find out the IP address, but it's really important we get the right IP address for that device. Once we have that, go and up your browser tab here, type in it HTTP colon backslash backslash the IP address of that miner colon 17080. Once you type that in, go ahead and hit enter. Now this will take you into the Crank local dashboard. Remember before I said, we're gonna be utilizing the Crank software to set up multi-mining? Well, this is where we're gonna do it. Now the great thing is this will not interfere with our Helium mining at all. Our IoT tokens, everything like that, will operate on the Helium network just like before. This is gonna give this capability to add more earning potential utilizing the same device. So over here on the Crank dashboard, the very first thing we wanna do is set up our model of our Helium miner and the antenna. So right here on the first screen, you can see model. It says select model, go and do the drop down. Now this is a sense cap M1. So I'm gonna select that. Next, it's gonna ask me what region am I operating in? Well, I'm in the United States, so that's US 915. So select that. Last is my antenna gain. Well, I know I'm operating on a 6 dBi antenna. And from there, go ahead and click save. And once again, if you run into any problems at all, jump in the Crank Discord. There's always people there who are willing to help you regardless if you have a Crank license or not. Now, personally, I recommend think about a Crank license in the future. But for now, we wanna get you earning the maximum potential possible with the devices you've already owned. Now, the next thing we wanna do is configure the Wi-Fi. 
Now, if you're running a hard line to your miner, you don't have to worry about this step. But if you're not and you're using Wi-Fi, go and go down to the second tab that says Wi-Fi configure. Click on that and it will already have scanned the nearby networks. So I'm running a hard line. I can go ahead and ignore this step. But if you want to, go and select on whichever network you're running, enter the SSID and the password, save it, and you'll be ready to go on the Wi-Fi network. Now, once we have Wi-Fi set up, we want to make sure we turn Helium Mining back on. So go down here to Helium, select that, and it'll already have a 1 set up in the ECC field. From there, go ahead and just click Install. Now, this will install the Helium software within the Crank dashboard. And as you can see, it's operating on the exact same Helium name, software, everything that you had before. So you're not changing your Helium miner at all. In fact, mine is called Fast Butter Tarantula, and that's what the miner is. So even though we're installing new software for multi-mining, we're still operating on the exact same software for Helium, so it won't know the difference. Now, the next step we have to do is go into the settings and configure the password and multi-mining. So click on settings. From here, you need to select a new password for your dashboard. So go ahead and enter your new password twice and click save. Now, when we log into our dashboard, we're going to have to enter this new password instead of the default one. So make sure you write it down or you keep it safe. Now, the next thing we're going to do is turn on the multi-mining feature. To do that, simply go down here to where it says test group participation. Go and turn that switch on. Then it's going to ask you what version do you want to participate? Now, I highly recommend select the beta version. Alpha can be more problematic and not all the bugs are worked out. So for ease of operation, select beta and click save. Now that you have the beta version saved, go and refresh the page. And now you'll see over on the left side, we have a new option called multi mining. Go ahead and select that. And now you can see through the crank software, we can now mine the Anyone token, Filecoin, Grass Network, Honeygain, Mysterium, Pawns App, PiFi, PreSearch, Repocket, and Wingbits. And the best part of all, we didn't have to buy a license. We don't have to stake tokens. We simply get to earn with the hardware we've already got. Congratulations, your old faithful miner is now supercharged and ready to start multi-mining. Now, if you want to learn how to set up the multi-mining process, make sure to go tune into this video where I walk you step by step on every aspect of multi-mining you need to know. But if you've enjoyed this content and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to keep bringing you the best crypto information I can. I want to thank you very much for your time. And until next time, have a great night.